What's up guys? I'm back here to waste more of your time. This is going to be, a, I think, a pretty interesting video because I'm gonna show you guys what a typical summer day is like. Here's the catch. My day starts in the evening. That's, that's, that's how it works in my head. Right now it's like 7.45 p.m. And so this is where my day starts. Because if I think about starting my day in the morning, it's too late. My day is already gone. Bear with me, you'll understand. First things first, I'm the realist. So like I said, 7.45, probably 8 by now. The goal is to go to sleep by 10 because I have a relatively early morning. So we have roughly two hours to get prepared for my next day. Today happens to be the day that I need to do my laundry. Let's go. Alright, so now that the laundry is um, laundrying, this is where I would go to eat and shower. I'll see you guys once I finish that. Alright, so my lunch is packed, my skating bag is packed, I'm cleansed. Basically everything is ready so that when I wake up tomorrow, I just take all my stuff and go. That's what I meant when my day starts now and not tomorrow morning. We're approaching 9.30pm. This is basically when I do my stretches for the night so that I don't stiffen up too much. I guess I'll just stretch away. I might as well spend this stretching time answering some of your questions. So let me just pull up real quick. All right, it's, these are questions from a long time ago. Are you going to be at the Grand Prix? P.S. Love from the Equator. First of all, thanks for the love. You never get enough? Apparently, yes. So I just got the news around two weeks ago. I'm doing Skate Can International and NHK, which basically blew my mind. Uh, any music recommendations? Past couple months, I've been really getting into K-pop. So if you're not already into K-pop, get into K-pop. Uh, right now, it's mostly Blackpink, Big Bang, and BTS. Pretty sure that's as bandwagony as you can get. What's your favorite TV shows, movies? Okay, Attack on Titan season three. Absolutely brilliant. Amazing. Movies, I just watched Spider-Man Far Away From Home. Hella good. Shout out to my boy Spider-Man. Approaching 10 o'clock now. To this point where I would sit down on the computer, edit videos, edit photos, play the piano, play guitar. This is basically my, my, my downtime. And if I don't use it, that's basically all the time that I have to work on stuff. Today, since I'm especially tired, I'm probably just gonna go to sleep. So yeah, let's uh, set my alarm real quick. Setting my alarm to 6.30, which ends up giving us eight and a half hours of sleep, which should be adequate. I'll see you guys in eight and a half hours. Okay, let's go. I call this one the lazy scramble. I just gotta give myself a cleanse and get ready and get dressed and then we're off to the rink. All right, now I feel and smell and am a more respectable human being. Time to go. It's actually really nice outside. Come on. Do you have anything to contribute to the YouTube community? No, I don't want any, anything to do with YouTube community, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, this is my dad. He is my chauffeur. No, every don't morning. do that. Don't put me in there. Okay, 
So, I'm at the rink. It is 7.43, got one quick minute. We just gotta go warm up now. 7.45, I gotta be upstairs warming up. And what I need to warm up is Bluetooth speaker. Turn that baby on. And what we're gonna be listening to is, let's go. First session of the day, gotta do a short program. And so it's 8.30 and my skating time begins. That's one session down. Now basically I do the same thing two more times. Except now next session I gotta do a long program and then the session after I just do whatever I feel like. We cover everything else I missed. My GF is currently in Japan. What time is in Japan? The time in Tokyo. Japan is 10.18 p.m. 10.18 p.m. What is that? What is that? Nothing, it's, that's not late. Let's give it a shot. That's uh, fine, she's probably sleeping. Yeah, so now on the break, um, no, the YSA crew that you guys know doesn't really exist anymore. I'll explain later. Shaquille is here. Tired. I was almost not about to come. <laughs> See, I told him, come tomorrow morning. I'm bringing my camera. That's not me. Well, I'm not, I'm not the reason. It was, it was you too. <laughs> Finally getting on the video, people. <laughs> okay, so I just I was just talking to them about how the um, YRSA crew is not quite the same. Doesn't in, in the sense that it doesn't exist. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a funny story. Um, Jack doesn't come all the time. He comes, I guess. Occasionally, <laughs> so he, comes, he comes one day and I'm like, oh, did you hear? Matt's gone. <laughs> and he's like, oh, damn, okay. So it doesn't matter, like, honestly, everyone, we, everyone had their own reasons for leaving. So it, it's, it's not personal or anything, but it was kind of funny. So, so then that happened and then Shaq goes, then I don't see Shaq for maybe a week or two. Shaq comes back another time, I'm like, oh, Jack's gone. <laughs> And then Shaq's like, yo, every week that I come, someone's missing. <laughs> and we started joking, yo, what if Max disappears? Every time I leave, take a break. He comes back. Somebody's gone. Max disappears. Max is gone. So it's just us now. Yeah. <laughs> House used to be over there, now he's yeah. in this corner. Shaq used to sit at that corner, now he's sitting next to me. Oh. Do you Give me a props, dude. Do you, do you see Crockers and... Cro crockers. <laughs> <laughs> crackers and guac. You, you okay there? <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? Probably not, but you're going to show me anyways. This is off of the YouTubes too. Watch, so you, you peel the bottom of your hard boiled egg. Mm -hmm. Got it? And you go like this. <laughs> peel the top off. Okay? Understand? You want that? Okay. <laughs> 
So <laughs> just confirm, right? They need to know. And then you um, like go like this, and then you blow. <laughs> Pops out. Kind of. <laughs> it didn't quite work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where did you learn that? YouTube! We're part of the same community! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Where on YouTube do you go to search for that? I don't know. I think it was a vine or something. No, that's definitely not it. <laughs> Egg. Oh, we gotta go. 45, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go warm up! Second session. Session number two complete. <gasps> Just one session left, and then my day is halfway done. <laughs> you got the itty bitties. Mm. Later. I got one session left, and so I gotta do this process of warming up again for the third time. Get myself some dad cookies. Ugh. I already did my short, I did my long, and now we just kind of work on everything all together for the last session, and then I coach after that. Let's go. Right, that was my first coaching session for 45 minutes. Now I've changed, gotta work out now, and then I coach more afterwards. Moments later. So I just finished off a slash workout slash, I don't know how many other slashes I'm gonna add to that, but body's dead, my brain is slowly starting to die because we're at that point of the day, and I need to change quickly because it's a quick turnaround, and I have to coach again. Basically, I, I, I essentially live here. It's so good at tying skates that you basically don't even have to look at them. I say that as I look down, but it's pretty much more or less instinctive. So if you turned off the lights on me right now, I think I do a pretty good job. Or not. One coaching session later. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a break right now, and this is basically where I get to eat a little bit. Banane. All right, I want to talk to you guys about coaching and whatnot. Different clubs do things differently. Here, we tend to have like like a team effort kind of thing. So we have like a coach that works a lot of the spins, a coach that works on the stroking slash choreography, a coach that does primarily the jumps. And so that's how we sort of work around every skater. Honestly, I quite like it. It's rewarding. That's way too loud for a video. I'm just gonna hold it, it's fine. I'll tell you, when you're teaching a double toe for like three, four months, and it starts off being like super weird and wacky and suddenly it becomes like normal technique and they land it, it makes your day. It's definitely really rewarding. I quite enjoy it. I've taught spins before. As you've seen in previous videos, I've done group stroking classes as well. But I've never done like choreography yet. And it's, it is something that I've thought about doing, but I don't have enough time to commit and try something like that at the moment. But maybe at some point in the future, I might consider doing choreography because clearly Canada doesn't have enough choreographers. Um, another thing that I'll mention about coaching, or at least that I find, is that like I'm coaching to help pay for my own skating. So in a way, it's like it's liberating and also like self-inspiring, if that makes any sense. Because it's like I'm working towards a goal for my own skating, and this also contributes to that goal, that end goal, that 
that light at the end of the tunnel. So like as I'm coaching, it sort of feels like I'm not only contributing to the kids, but I'm also contributing to myself because it helps support my own skating. I don't know, maybe that sounds super weird, but that's sort of how I feel. It goes like two ways. Like I give and I get back. I don't know, I like that. I like that like connection. Does that make sense? Totally doesn't make sense. I think it makes sense. Anyway, I gotta go for my uh, last two hours of coaching and uh, we'll see you when I get back. It's 6.15 right now and it's a wrap. Time to get out of here and that's pretty much what my day is like. Only thing left to do is to go home. Now I've been here since 7.40 and I'm out of here at 6.50. Epic. So I'm back home now, back to the Romsky studio and it's 6.45. And this is officially the end of my day. And the whole thing starts again. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really liked making it. I thought it was pretty cool. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you dislike it. If you happen to dislike it, that's okay. Comments, questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to put down there, do it. And subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out. And yeah, last but not least, I hope you guys return and stay tuned for the next video. See you later. This doesn't usually happen. Okay. <laughs>